most of northeast India's hilly and breathtaking views of deep valleys are only to be expected. But Assam is a state largely made up of rolling plains. Halflong Hill is the only hill station in the state. Often referred to as White and Hillock, Halflong is best known for its picturesque views and rich cultural legacy. Serene and calm and at the same time rustic and wild, Halflong near Silla is a tourist delight. Halflong is located in South Assam not very far from the city of Silla. The nearest airport is the one at Silla Kumbhar Grand Airport, about 108 kilometers away. The drive is likely to take about three hours. The bus service to Halflong Hill is from Silla, Langu and Lumding. If you are keen to travel like the locals, you can take the state bus. However, the journey is not likely to be a comfortable one. Renting a car is a recommended option. Alternatively, you may want to board direct trains from Silla to New Halflong, and from Guwahati to New Halflong. The journey might be tedious, but Halflong's beauty is certainly worth it. Jadinga, a village on a ridge, is located in Dimhasao district, a sim state in India. It is 330 kilometers 210 me, south of Guwahati. It is most famous for the phenomenon of birds committing suicide. Although the birds do not commit suicide and are actually killed, the myth of the suicides has spread far and wide among common people. The village is inhabited by about 2,500 Kasi people and a few Assamese. At the end of the monsoon months especially on moonless and foggy dark nights between 6 p.m. and 9.30 p.m., birds are not disturbed by the locals but out of the dark northern skies will start to descend as they are attracted to lights. These days birds are captured using bamboo poles by the locals. The local tribals first took this natural phenomenon to be spirits flying from the sky to terrorize them. This phenomenon is not confined to a single species, with tiger bittern, black bittern, little egret, pond pondheron, Indian pitta, and kingfishers all being affected, as well as hill partridge, green pigeon, emerald dove, necklace, laughing thrush, black drongo. The birds are mostly juvenile, according to a sim's best-known ornithologist, Anwar Din Chowdhury. 
the late naturalist E.P.G. brought this phenomenon to global attention in the 1960s. He drove to Jadinga with famed ornithologist Late Salamali. The cause of it is likely to be disorientation at high altitudes and high speed winds due to the widespread fog characteristic at the time. The Zoological Survey of India sent Sudhir Sengupta to unravel this mystery. The most recent description of the phenomenon and its comparison with similar incidents elsewhere in Malaysia, Philippines, and Mysoram is found in the book The Birds of the Sambayan Warden Chowdhury. He concluded that the birds, mostly juveniles and local migrants, are disturbed by high-velocity winds at their roost. When the disturbed birds fly towards lights as refuge they are hit with bamboo poles and killed or injured. Conservation groups and wildlife officials in India have taken steps to prevent wanton killing of birds across India, creating awareness in the illiterate villagers. By Kashrama, additional principal chief conservator of forests of Dimahasao, stated the killings as well as the number of birds arriving at the village has been declining gradually since the last few years for much of this is due to loss of habitat caused by development and environment degradation.